Okay, my final race of the day here at Aintree, but the penultimate, it's race 11, it's the top of my handicap chases over the Grand National Fences. It's a grade three handicap, so number one, Spaniards in for Darren Thompson, Primal Screen for Kevin Meanhan, Frantic Belcourt for David Robertson, Hex of Life for Joshua Sutherland, Money Goes Away for Darren Thompson, Miss Scotland for Paul Rhodes, Ralph for James Follis, Frank and Furter for Kevin Meanhan, Toad Hall, Graham Clutterbuck, Whip Hand, Martin Leadham, April 7th, Graham Clutterbuck, Reign of Terror, Leon Van Rensburg, Sander Santow, Doug Warren, Japan Do, Doug Warren, Famous Poet for Stu Gray, and the final horse was number 16, was Princess of Light for Alex Cherry, the starter's already gone them away. And this is the two mile five and a half furlongs. Top them handicap, and they're over the first. See, these are the Grand National fences here. Bit of a warm up for tomorrow for some of these jockeys. It's just being led by Ralph at the moment, but the rest of the pack are all pretty much together. We go into the second. Everybody's over it, but some slow jumps. Getting himself settled. Ralph's still leading us from Frankenfurter and Spaniards in. They go this very small little water, and everybody's successfully over it. As they're going to head on out now for a circuit, and it's Ralph that's going to lead them. A few that are going to get pushed really wide again here at Toad Hall. The other one there are red silks, I think, it was Japan Do. But Ralph's having a dream ride against the fence and leads by about six. To primal screen Spaniards in Miss Scotland and frantic Belcor and Hex of Life outside of that is famous poet. They're being followed through by Son of Sandtown, Reign of Terror. Outside of that is April 7th, Wider still is Frankenfurter. And, and we've got Money Goes Away. Princess of Light is the one in the rear up against the fence. The two further wider are Japan Duke and Toad Hall. They all get over the fourth and they're all still on their feet here. And it's Ralph that leads us. Famous poet jumped that well and got away into second. They go over the fifth, a few slower jumps. But it's still Ralph. The rest of the pack are pretty much flip flopping. It's now Whip Hand that's in second. So you get to the six. Everybody's over that as well. And it's still Ralph that leads us by a good couple of lengths to Frantic Belcourt. Then we've got Whip Hand. In between horses is Famous Poet. A slow jump by the leader there has allowed everybody to. Get much closer to Alden out, and they're all pretty close here. And we're through almost half the fences. We've got a mile and a half to run. Oh, and they all get over that as well. And they're all jumping quite well here. I'm surprised we've not lost anybody yet. Just at the rear is Princess of Light for next Cherry. Up front is Ralph for James Follis. I think, uh, the handicap will pay dividends here. They go into the ninth. Oh, and they're all over it. I think that's the chair. Is that the chair? I must learn these for tomorrow. It's the last race, uh, the penultimate race of today. of the Grand National Week. They're all over the tenth now, and everybody's still on their feet. Got a mile and a quarter to run. And it's Ralph still leading from Reign of Terror in second, and Miss Scotland third. And we've got Primal Scream, Hex of Life, April 7th, Spaniards in. They're all still there. They get to the canal turn. And they all get over that well as well. And it's still Ralph that leads us. Been there since the beginning. Certainly having a plum ride. Into the twelfth. Everybody's over that as well. I can't believe through, we're through twelve of the national fences here. Not one of these has fallen. And it's still Ralph into the thirteenth. And it isn't unlucky for anybody. So Ralph leading by four. The rest of the pack are chopping and changing all the time. Reign of Terror is just against the fence and nosing through. They go to the 14th. Everybody's over that as well. And it's still Ralph that leads us. From April 7th in second now. Then Spaniards in, Sun of Soundtown, Reign of Terror. Miss Scotland looks good. Money goes away. They get to the 15th. Again, everybody's over it. A few slow jumps. The one that's coming to challenge Ralph now is Son of Soundtown. Then you've got April 7th. Miss Scotland running well. Spaniards in still there under a little bit of pressure now. Money goes away on the outside. The one that's got no room is Hex of Life. Reign of Terror against the fence. But it's still Ralph that leads us inside the five. Ralph leading from Son of Santow in second. Miss Scotland trying to make up some ground. They're all starting to run on a little bit now. Now, April the 7th, money goes away. They've got to catch this Ralph. We've still got four furlongs to run and two to jump, but it's Ralph that leads us from Son of Santo in second. Miss Scotland third. April 7th running on well now. Toad Hall for Graham Clatterbar on the outside. Money goes away. He's got some, got some space and starting to move. They go over the 17th. Bit of a slow jump by the leader, but the one that's coming out of the pack now is Money Goes Away. Toad Hall, April 7th, Miss Scotland. They've all still got to catch him. We've got two and a half furlongs left to run. Ralph's been there since the beginning. Can he hold on? On the outside, here comes Toad Hall. They go into the 
17th, the last he was slow over it. The one that's got away over it well was Toad Hall. So Toad Hall leads us just by a length now. Furlong and a half left to run. Toad Hall from money goes away on the outside to Grey Reign of Terror, but it's Toad Hall that still leads from April 7th in second. They've got a bit to do to catch him here, but it's Toad Hall. I think he's going to hang on to this jockey. Looks round. He thinks he's got plenty left. I think he has. He's going to take it. Toad Hall takes this for ground. Quite about a great win for the top and handicap chase. Third was Reign of Terror. Money goes away with second. Good win there for Graham Clutterbuck. Looks like one he'd, uh, he may well have put out for this. So Toad Hall takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Second was Money Goes Away for Darren Thompson. Third was Reign of Terror for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Hex of Life for Joshua Sutherland. And fifth was Whip Hand for Martin Leadham. Plenty didn't get into that race. They're all pretty close together. But uh, that's me for today. I'll join you tomorrow. I'll hand you over to Martin for the last race of the day. Goodbye.